Welcome to Spring Row 45066, a TV news magazine show of Spring Row, Ohio. Carrie's going to let you know about the awards of the Chamber event. It's that time of year, Santa's coming to town. Carrie and I meet with Doug Beakey, who's going to let us know everything that's coming up for the Holiday Festival on November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Hope to see you there. Obviously, we're going to close with two things. One, we're going to have our Meet Your Neighbor segment. We have a young lady. Oh, are you going to be excited when you see her? And then we'll have our closing counter events. And as always, Carrie and I are glad to see you and live. Glad to be back in action. It's all happening right now on Spring Rule 45066. We are at the Spring Rule City Council Executive Room. Carrie and I welcome you back to the show. We have been away for a while. Lots of reasons why we're not going to go into that. Main thing is, we are back and we're glad you're with us. Carrie, to be back. I am so glad to be back. I yeah. missed you there. Okay. I missed you too. In any case, we got a nice show. We don't have the big show with a bunch of different things this time. We focused on a couple things that we think you need to hear about. And that being said, why don't you go ahead and do the Chamber Awards? All right, well, so earlier this week, you and I had the pleasure of attending the Springboro Chamber of Commerce 47th Annual Awards Gala, and that was at the Hilton Garden Inn. It was a lovely evening, wasn't it? Mm, oh, it was. I mean, it was a lot of fun with 200 of, of our closest friends at the Hilton Garden Inn Ballroom, spearheaded by our wonderful chamber staff, led by Dave Donaldson, Samantha Riggs, and Shauna Hatton, and of course, our awesome planning committee. Such a fun night. We, of course, you know, gave out some awards, had a silent auction, had a live auction at the end, had a little dinner. Dinner was pretty good, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. So yeah, it was a, it was a great night, and we figured we should uh, talk about some of these award winners because these chamber awards, you know, are a big deal, and uh, these award winners deserve some recognition. So let's let's talk about some of these. Our Community Excellence Award went to Mike Stater from the Small Business Development Center of Warren County. Business Growth Award went to Brandy Skelton at Busy Bee Real Meals right here on Main Street in Springboro. Our Founders Award went to Randy Watkins at Watkins Heating and Cooling. Volunteer of the Year Award went to John Parks at Clark Schaefer Hackett. The Mayor's Award do you want to talk about it? You go for it. You're on a roll. Went to the Rotary Club of Springboro. And Business of the Year went to Roma's Pizza and Pasta. Yeah, well, congratulations to all of our winners. Uh, so many good things happen in our community with our business. That's our locomotive economic, and that's what we want. So. Thanks for sharing with the audience that. Absolutely, it was a fun night. I was, you know, honored to MC for them again, and you know, it was great to have you there, Mayor. And I know you enjoyed giving that award to the Rotary Club. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, there's a little special for the Springboro Rotary. They paid for the architectural design of our Veterans Memorial years oh, ago, wow. and have we? They not done that. I don't know if we ever got it off the ground. Eddie Lawson, I worked on that for 20 plus years. I know that one. That's near. And, and they and they and they came up and. Can't thank them enough. Mm -hmm. So that's, no, that's, that's good. incredible. Nice thing for the community. I, that is a very, very special thing for our community. It's okay. a beautiful place. Yeah. Well, we had a big chamber event. Now it's time for Christmas in Springboro. Oh, no. I know. And we have Doug Beakey going to tell us all about this great weekend coming I can't up. Wait. Cannot wait. Let's go talk to Doug. Okay. Hmm? We are in a conference room, Carrie and I, with Doug Beakey, and we're getting ready for Christmas in Springboro in November. Doug, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mayor, for having us. Well, before we get into the festival, uh, you know, Carrie and I know this, but tell the audience a little bit about yourself and all the stuff you've been doing with the with the Rotary. Springboro Rotary, you've taken it to another level. Well, this year I'm actually the district governor for all of Southwestern Ohio, District 6670. Uh, so I have to visit 46 clubs in a very large district, and I actually have 20 of them done so far and more to go, but it's fun. It's like being a rush chairman. I'm very happy to meet you and shake hands. Uh, but it's a, a, a real responsibility. It's like having a full time job, plus my full time job of teaching graduate school. So, past hey, Rotary president? Past Rotary president, and our Rotary Club's growing. We're at 40 people, and we get to see you there. And, and on behalf of the Rotary Club of Springboro, I want to thank you, Mayor, because uh, you gave us the Mayor's Award and the, the recent Chamber of Commerce uh, um, outing, and then that was 
unbelievable that you recognized our community service. Like yeah, that. You got Rotary's done a lot of great things for the community. Carrie and I talk about all the time, all the different clubs and organizations in, the, in our backyard that step to the front. And we wouldn't have a better memorial one for you guys. So true. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for that. Well, as a, as a fellow veteran, it's important to yeah, us. And you served your country many years, more than I did. So. Well, anyway, tell the audience uh, what's going on. Well, would you believe this is the 36th year of doing Christmas in Springboro? We love it. Unbelievable. Uh, so this year's theme is Winter Wonderland. The reason why we picked Winter Wonderland is we thought it would be a nice, mellow kind of ambience. So we picked colors of ice blues and whites and, and nice colors like that and very tame and mellow. Because remember last year it was we were rocking around the Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. So it was a lot of rock and roll. So we decided to go a little bit smoother. <laughs> so it's going to be fun. The opening ceremonies of course is going to be on Friday at 6 p.m. at uh, Rotary Park and the featured uh, president uh, folks that are going to be singing are actually the Springboro High School Jazz Choir. Ooh. So they're going to do a couple numbers to start everybody off and of course you'll be doing your speech and lighting the Christmas tree. Of course. And then they will finish up with another couple of uh, songs. So it's going to be a nice mellow start. I think this is the 28th year that I've done that, like the Christmas tree. I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And the tree's thanks, getting pretty thanks big. For, yeah, <laughs> thanks for that. That's a privilege. Thank you for allowing me to be part of that. It's a great weekend for our city. Outstanding week. We anticipate probably 80,000 people, especially if the weather holds. Uh, we had about 75,000 last year. Uh, things are just rocking and rolling. We're going to pretty much do everything this year like we did last year with one exception. Uh, we tried to do the remote parking aspect and, and nobody just wanted to use it so we won't be having remote parking. But everything else is pretty much the same as last year. Well what, just for the audience sake, why don't you go through on Friday night we're going to light the Christmas tree. Correct. And the choir will sing mm -hmm. and then all the people will go around. Are there going to have any rides with the horses this year or then no horse is not going to be involved this year? Well unfortunately the company that used to do that went out of business. They retired oh, their yeah. horse. Oh. They, they retired their horses and retired their uh, wagons. So that's, They can't do that to us. They <laughs> did. I mean. Yeah. The nerve of them. The nerve of them. Yeah. Yes. But unfortunately so we won't have any horse oh, rides. Yeah, no uh, big deal. Which Actually, over the last two years, with the amount of crowd and how much larger the crowd has become, it actually would have been pretty unsafe to continue okay. to do that. So instead, we have more vendors. Uh, we have more food vendors. We have we have some new food vendors. Ooh. So you're going to have new new options. A couple of the older options uh, aren't coming back because they either retired or uh, just closed up their business. So we, wow. we're actually going to have about seven new new food vendors so it'll be and different. chicken and noodles that they stay in the line for forever is a terrific mm -hmm. they will still be there oh my gosh and good. so will the bourbon chicken oh uh, but there's going to be more so there's going to be some mexican uh oh. stands so you're going to be able to have walking tacos and those kind of things okay. and so cool. so the food is going to be a little bit different but i think a pretty good blend you got a band this year well we have we have the entertainment tent okay which is already everything's fully booked between bands, orchestras, uh, singing groups, and for instance on a Friday night right after we do the opening ceremony in the entertainment tent will be all the fourth graders. Oh that's cool. So they're going to do both fourth graders on Friday night and that way on Sunday it'll be more reserved for the high school and junior high. And then on Saturday it's going to be more of a band, orchestra, music type of venue. So, and of course the, the Springboro High School Choir is going to have their coffee shop there in the entertainment tent so yeah. you'll be able to get your coffee and sit down and listen to the music in the entertainment tent. And the parade starts at 12? Parade starts at 12 on Saturday. So on so Friday night is basically the opening ceremonies and entertainment plus all of the venues up and down the street. Then Saturday morning at 10 o'clock we start lining people up for the the parade. The vendors can start selling their, their food at 10 and then we have the parade at noon. Of course, Carrie, Carrie is, and Jim Brown are, Carrie yes. and Jim Brown are back. They're going to be the ones saying hello to everybody, telling everybody about each. each. Cannot wait. We already have 52 units signed up 
Oh, wow. So we anticipate we'll probably be even bigger than last year's. And last year's was the largest parade we ever had. It was. Yeah, it was. It, was long. it went on forever. <laughs> That's a good thing. It is a great thing. Growth is a good thing. Growth is a good thing. It is. But we have fun with that. It was a great parade last year. Oh, it was. It was. It was well, a lot of fun. We had great weather on Friday and Saturday. Unfortunately, Sunday wasn't so great, but <laughs> it was cold. It was cold, it was but it was cold. good. But it was and then great. it concludes what five o'clock on Sunday. Yes, yeah, it goes from noon to five p.m. on Sunday, uh, so that once people get out of church, then they can come down, and then it's pretty much. Like I said, the junior high and high school choirs will be in the entertainment tent. Of course, we'll have football on in the beer tent. Uh, and so there'll be plenty of things for people to do, plus with all the stuff up and down the street. And don't forget the different um, people that have businesses on the street. Mm -hmm. They're fully involved with our, our committee now. They've actually have a representative on our committee mm -hmm. so that we can involve the business community from downtown more and have them do some things. They're going to be doing a letterboxes for Santa, yes. so the kids will be able to go do that. Uh, and they're talking about doing some other other type of things and promotions, but we're going to integrate it all so that Christmas in Springboro is a total immersive environment for the entire community. Nobody gets left out. Well, we're looking forward to it, and uh, it's... Uh it's just a great thing for our community. Well, we have a fun time with, the, with it. it. Like I said, it's just growing. Uh, the beer tent's going to have TVs in it again, so uh, after the parade on Saturday, people do not have to go home. They can stay there, uh, drink, and watch the, the football games. I'm sure the Buckeyes will be on. Okay. It depends on what the schedule is, but the, we'll have all the football games on both Saturday and Sunday, so okay. you don't need to go home to do anything else. Good, okay. good. Okay. Okay, anything else you'd like to tell the audience about the festival coming Dates, up? Dates, Doug. Oh, November 17th, 18th, and 19th. Go check out our website. You've got that, so I, I'll, you'll, I'm sure we'll put a banner up on it. But yeah, a lot of things going on. We need volunteers. That's the big thing that is right now going on is the volunteer sign-up, uh, mostly for policing things during in the street, mm -hmm. set up on... Friday, we start setting up Friday morning early. Actually, the tents are going to be put up on the side streets Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, trying to get around downtown from Wednesday on is going to be difficult. Uh, and they will close the street down uh, Friday at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. They close the street down so you can't even get through. We have to wait for the schools to get out. And once that's mm -hmm. done, we close the street down. And so it'll be closed until... Sunday night. Sunday night, because it takes us about four or five hours to tear everything down, so mm -hmm. we'll be there. I'll be there for three straight days living down there. Um, it, it, it's ready, wonderful, you though. You better rest on Monday. Uh, I need to, <laughs> then I go back to teaching graduate school. So uh, There's a lot of things going on, uh, so please come down and see us. Uh, you're going to have a lot of fun. There's a lot of music. There's going to be a lot of um, entertainment. And, uh, and all the kids are going to be there. So it'll be so much fun. Well, thanks for being on the show. Thanks for bringing us up a date on the event coming out in November. And we're looking forward to it. Oh, we are looking forward to it. We always look forward to saying Merry Christmas. All right. Doug Beakey, see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Doug. Appreciate you giving us up to date. 17th, 18th, 19th of November. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Be there. Well... It's that time. Oh my goodness. You are going to enjoy our Meet Your Neighbor. Yes, she what, is a treat. What a wonderful little girl. Anyway, she's nine years young and she's coming at you at Meet Your Neighbor. Let's go talk to Summer Joy Simon. Here we are in the city building and we have a special guest for our Meet Your Neighbor segment. Hello. How are you? Good. You look awful precious tonight. Thank you. Okay. Why don't you tell the audience what your full name is? My name is Summer Joy Simon. And you are Miss Preteen Ohio, is that correct? Yes. Okay. And you are going to be going to Orlando, Florida to compete in the Nationals, is that correct? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, why don't you tell the audience a little bit about yourself and your challenges and some of the things that you do that made you miss preteen? And like two years ago, I got a letter in the mail from 
from National American Miss. They invited me to, to, to join the pageant. But whenever I went there, I, I told my dad I wasn't ready. And so, and so about in February, this February, I, I found, I, I told my mom I, I wanted to, and then, and then, it, then when I, then when I went there, I had so, I had so much fun, and then, then unsurprisingly, I won Miss, then surprisingly, I won Miss Ohio Junior Preteen. Isn't it neat to have fun and do good things? That's a good thing. I was looking at some of the things on the things you've done, the appearances and selling lemonade and raising seven hundred dollars for school supplies and volunteered fifteen hours, you know, at a nursing home and helped lead uh, stretch the Dayton Dragons. Seventh inning stretch of Dayton Dragons came out that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah but being out there with all those people around, you get a, they just stretch. Yeah, and they get carried away with that music, seventh inning stretch. That's cool. I mean, you've raised three hundred dollars to support the Share Foundation of Dayton. Uh, you met the mayor of Springville, you poor thing. <laughs> anyway, so you got, you got, you know, it's just amazing to be as young as you are and to be as active as you are. It's just so, it's just a wonderful thing. I'm so proud of you, and I know your family is very, very proud of you. So let me ask you a couple other questions and sort of pick your brain a little bit. How's that? Okay. So. You, we talked about some challenges. What's what's your special talents? What do you think that is something that you consider your special talents? One talent I can do is I can play the ukulele and sing it. It took so whenever, like I finished the competition, I started playing the ukulele for my talent for nationals, and and every, and every single time I play, I always get so happy that I get better and get better. Could you play a little song for us? Sure. Good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fantastic. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a hard act to follow. So why don't you put your guitar down and let me ask you a few more questions, okay? A couple other things I want to make note of. Your honors and awards, you obviously received a bunch of them. You know, your name, Community Gem by Dayton Daily Newspaper. Uh, you got a model, your recommendations, and it's just amazing. All the winner of a uh, great class. I mean, just all the things you do. But what I really want to ask you about is, what are your goals? One of my goals 
is to become National American Miss because then I'll put attention to the people in the nursing homes because because most of them are our country's grandparents and parents and most of them don't have regular regularly interact with kids so and and you can't help to just smile whenever you come out there and you know that you just made so many other people smile oh wow <laughs> well honey that's that's really outstanding at nine years old to be thinking about things like that that's just tremendous really really tremendous i i understand that your daddy uh spent a bunch of time serving our country right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what did he do he was in the air force for 23 and a half years you have a really nice family they were supportive of you and you're making them proud that's a wonderful thing let me ask you some other questions. What would you like to do if you're the next national queen? If I was the next national queen, I would, I would probably make sure that everybody was getting exactly what, what, they, what they need, especially the people in nursing homes. What, what have you done for the international school? I have already gotten them. I've raised money from selling lemonade in the summer. I raised about seven hundred dollars to to buy school supplies for for day, for an international school, and and now I am now I'm raising fun fun now I'm raising a fundraiser to to get for people to donate hats and gloves to, for for them so so they because some people have come from different countries and, and they have not experienced winter so I so I want them to have a night. Nice winter, and that be cool. Oh. In the school. Okay, yeah, I had mentioned that earlier about your accomplishments when I did the lemonade and stuff like that. But that's really, really cool. Are you looking forward to going to Orlando? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. You're gonna get a good Disney World while you're there. I'm probably gonna go to Universal. Okay, that's a cool place. See Mickey and Minnie. <laughs> okay. Well, I want to thank you for being on our show as our Meet Your Neighbor. We're so proud of you. I'd like to get a picture of you with your dad. You're precious. Hmm? All right, Summer, you are adorable. Carrie and I enjoyed it, and I know the audience is going to enjoy it as well. Thank you, and good luck in Orlando. That ukulele. Oh she my stole God. my heart with the ukulele. Oh, she's, well, she's sweet. Well, anyway, we're getting ready to close up the show. But before we do, we want to make sure Joe's going to have the counter of events, the things coming up in Springboro. Because we've got a lot. we got a lot. And so we want to make sure that you know what's going on. Obviously, all of our social media sites, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc., it's all there. The newsletter, it's all our way of getting back to you. Uh, the MVCC does so good on showcasing the community with all they do. We thank them. Uh, anyway, Joe put up on a thing, but in the meantime... It's good for Karen to be back with you. We really love to do this show, and we want to say the same thing we've always said. If you know a suggestion or something you think to make the show better, let us know. If you want to be on the show, let us know. Uh, this show is for you. It's for the, our community, and we take pride in bringing it to your attention. We do. So, this will be the last show of the year. Enjoy the holidays. Have fun. Uh, we wish you well. God bless. We had a great country, great community, and have a wonderful holiday. And we will see you in 2024. Yeah. Until then, so long.
keep your neighborhood safe. Call the Springboro Police 748-0611 or email springborodispatch at cityofspringboro.com for information. Your camera could make all the difference.